I got a lot of questions about everything I wore in Los Angeles and San Francisco, so California. I thought I would sit down and break down each outfit for you guys as seen on my Instagram. So I'm gonna go through all of the posts right now and share everything I wore and link it down below. So the very first outfit that I posted was back in December 17th. It was the day I went to Santa Monica with Dasha and Jem. I got a lot of questions about this specific long coat and this is actually a birthday gift to myself. It's from Chanel. I wore it a lot in New York because I celebrated my birthday in New York. It was nice in LA because it wasn't as cold, so it kept me warm enough. If you look closely, I am wearing sunglasses from Gentle Monster. They are the Duas. And the dress I got a long time ago from Reformation. And if you look up close at the very last photo, the long western boots are from Ash. And anything I'm missing? The bag is also from Chanel and my hair was done by Dasha. That was the first official outfit that I shared on post on Instagram. So next we have a carousel from San Francisco. In the first outfit, the selfie, I am wearing the Dua sunglasses as well. My jacket is the reversible jacket from Supreme. This is one of my favorite jackets because you can wear it in so many different ways. And the necklace is from Chrome Hearts. It matched with my nails. I wore a long maxi dress from Skims and this is actually the same dress that Dasha wore in my previous post. I really liked it because it really accentuated her beautiful body. I really like this dress because it also makes me look tall. The shoes I am wearing are the Jordan 1 Lowe's that I bought back in 2020 after watching the Michael Jordan documentary. I finally wore them in California and I got a lot of questions about them and they're just the general release. And then going on later, I did change to this other, I guess, casual fit. And this sweater is also from Supreme. I got it at the San Francisco Supreme store. And then the heart necklace that I am wearing is from Tiffany and Supreme. My brother actually got it on when it came out in New York. So we got really lucky because right now the value of that necklace has gone up like crazy. The jeans, I am wearing gems. And uh, oh yeah, the ear cuffs are the Ana Luisa collaborations that I recently did. And we will be restocking sometime in February. So I will be updating you guys on Instagram. And then the final photo, I am wearing a beanie from Kith. This jacket is also supreme, but it's flipped over. And I like wearing it like this more when it is a lot colder outside because the fleece really keeps me warm. And the pants, you can't really see the whole fit, but I'll insert another photo, is one that I got asked a lot of questions on and it's from Nylora. I took photos for an ad and I really like the quality of those pants and it just looks really good. I like how I look taller because of the nice flared fit. Those are actually one of my favorite pants that I wore when I was in California. The next fit is my Christmas morning fit. I got a lot of questions about this one because it is quite colorful. I am wearing a few different pieces, so I'm gonna go to this one post. Um, the knit sweater is from Supreme, and the red pants are from Redone, and both Gemini are wearing the Uggs. And then the bag here, we have the green by far bag, and then the fleece green floral jacket that I'm wearing towards the end is from Urban Outfitters. I got a lot of compliments every time I wore this out. And in that photo, I am wearing the YSL bag as well, the Dua sunglasses, and of course the Ana Luisa cuff. Now moving on to Ana Luisa shoot. 
that we had at the Airbnb garden. I am wearing a tank from Brandy Melville and I got it for like $16 and the shorts are actually from Brandy Melville as well wearing the Uggs again. When I shop, I usually like to buy things that I know for a fact that I would wear over and over again. And so that's why throughout my California outfits, you'll notice me wearing the same pants or the same top, the same jacket over and over again. Then we have the Christmas Eve outfit and I posted this on New Year's Eve. And this is a really colorful fit balanced with my uh, all black favorite. Um, so this cardigan is from Ashley Williams. I bought it on sale on Essence. And then the pants here are the ones from Alani the Grey. Uggs again. And this top, this tank top is from Kate. It's not a crop top, but I folded it in because I just felt like the outfit would look better if there was like a little bit of a crop moment going on. Oh, okay, so the dates are mixed up right now because it's Korea time and we're a day ahead here. But I posted this on January 1st here. And this is actually how I spent the last day of 2021. And I'm wearing a very comfortable fit. The Kith half zip up top. And then the pants are also from Nylora again. The Ugg boots and then the YSL bag as well as the open product tote bag. On January 8th, I posted a very cozy look and we have the New York Yankees cap that I got at the MoMA pop-up shop in Soho. If we take a closer look, I'm wearing the hoodie from Half Shadow and this one's really cool because with flash photography, it reflects kind of like the necklace I'm wearing which is from Unnamed and this is actually taken at my friend Christina who is the founder of Unnamed. Um, it's at her office. Moving on to the Laker games, I went to a total of five Laker games and I posted them real time via stories. I really enjoyed going to the Laker games and I always left with merch. Kind of like this one I'm wearing right now. This one is my favorite cap actually because I really like the color of this one. Going back to the post, I am wearing a reversible jacket and this right here shows gray sleeves. If you reverse it, they're black sleeves. And I got it at the Staples Center and it was at the Staples Center because it was the first game and by the Third one, it was at the Crypto.com Arena. This outfit was one of my favorites because I really like this jacket. And the bag, the sparkly bag, is from Kara. Another outfit that I wore to the Laker game is this cap right here. I tried to wear one Laker gear for every game, and this is one of them. I am wearing a jacket and t-shirt from Brandy Melville. The long necklaces from Supreme and these pants. I got a lot of questions about these pants. They're from Stylenanda. I've talked about them before on my channel. I wear them a lot. I just really like the fit of them. The Christmas game I went to with my friend's family and her baby. Um, I'm wearing the same jacket with the black sleeves and then I believe I wore the Supreme knit under it as well as Oh, I did wear the Supreme knit because in the morning I had the photo shoot with my friends. The scarf was a gift. There was always a gift except for one game. So moving on to my stories, I'm gonna check out all of the archives to make sure I didn't miss any of the outfits. For Disneyland, I wore a very casual fit. It was a very sunny day and we went on Jem's birthday, which was the 12th. I'm wearing the $16 tank top from Brandy Melville as well as the zip up hoodie from Brandy Melville and the low rise denim are from Saks Pot. I got a lot of questions about this one and when I ordered it, they were too long so I did have to cut the ends but now they just fit perfectly. I'm wearing the Dua glasses, the Minnie Mouse ears that I got when I went to Disneyland like three years ago. I bought it then and I took it with me from Korea back to LA because I had a feeling that I would want to buy the ears. Moving on to my hiking fits, 
I wore a lot of Lululemon because I did work with them very closely last year. Top as well as the leggings are from Lululemon. The socks as well as the shoes are from Nike. I wore a cap from the Laker game as well. And then the mini bag, the Marge Sherwood one, it was very convenient to carry with me because it just fits all of my essentials. And then I have another outfit in the beginning of my trip. I ended up uploading it later on. This fit is one of my favorites. I'm wearing the tank top from Kate, the Style Not Depends, as well as my Jordan 1 Lowe's. And this leather jacket is Dasha's. So I'll ask her and then I'll include the info in the description box. And finally, I have an airport outfit and this padding is from Golfway. It was my first time shopping there. We were walking towards Supreme and we saw the store and we went in and I really liked this padding. Oh, and also from my previous hiking post, the green jacket is also from Golfway. And then inside, I am just wearing the zip up that I wore previously, as well as sweatpants from Museum of Peace and Quiet. It was just like a very comfortable fit for the plane ride back to Korea. So I think that's it for all of my outfits. I hope you guys found this somewhat helpful. I thought it would be fun to kind of reminisce the outfits and the memories that these pictures hold and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and if you guys like videos like this maybe i'll try to film more of them in this format for you guys all right thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time